Hey guys, I thought I'd do a, um, a video on this uh, triple five timer circuit I made quite a while ago using a capacitor and a solar panel to, to uh, power it. So the solar panel charges the super capacitor here, which is uh, one farad at 5.5 volts, and that practically powers it perpetually all day long and night time as well actually. So um, I currently got it hooked up to a, um, a microcurrent set to one millivolt per microamp on my multimeter here. So that's, that's reading about when it's not on, that's about 70, 71, 78 milliamps that would be. That's drawing on average thereabouts when the LED isn't coming on. So that's the actual power consumption of the triple five timer there. The triple five timer is actually a, um, an ultra low power one. So it's designed to pull in the region of one milliwatt of actual power so it's nothing that's why it can run all day long on that little uh, super capacitor there so yeah um that's it hooked up i've got it on a um decade resistance box here so i can change the the speed of the uh, blinking there as you can see and speed it up or slow it down based on the, uh, the decade resistance box. So as you can see, got one ohm, 10 ohms, 100 ohms, 1000 ohms, 10,000 ohms, 100,000 ohms, a million ohms, and then 10 million ohms. So this can go one to 900, uh, 99 million ohms, this de decade resistance box goes up to, which is a uh, little project I made a while ago. So that's extra handy for doing triple five timers. You can also do, um, use potentiometers and other things like that which people usually use but I just tend to like to use the decade resistance box since it's there and it's got all those options on it so yeah I've got it hooked up to a, um, an LED at the moment but also I've got it connected up to a solid state relay as you can see which is connected up to a 800 watt incandescent bulb as you can see there so if I just Plug that little wire in to the power. Oh, that's pretty bright. As you can see, now that's controlling that whole circuit. And that is seriously bright, guys. So this isn't powered from anything other than that supercapacitor there. And I've actually disconnected the uh, solar panel there just to make those power readings um, from the microcurrent to the multimeter there accurate so you can actually see what it's actually drawing without the uh, solar panel actually interrupting it by adding more power in and giving you false readings so yeah that's the uh, that's the circuit all hooked up as you can see it's amazing what you can do with such a small amount of power you can see the uh, the red LED just come on at the same time as the, uh, the lamp yeah, this circuit can practically run all day and all night just on that one solar panel as long as it's got some daylight in the day that'll run the actual circuit was made if i just disconnect that a second that's seriously bright and hot on my face <laughs> yeah the actual circuit was made by that's a circuit there for the um for the triple five solar panel circuit but you can get that from Instructables. There's a guy on there called, if I just go to Guy here, there's a guy called Tinker Jim, and he's on Instructables.com. Pretty decent website. So yeah, he's made the circuit, as you can see. And he's made it into like a little paperweight type thing, but I've used the circuit and just made it into, um, just, just to control my, um, my solid state relay. Really, it does. It does. Usually in the daytime, I just have it set on the blinker, and it just blinks away in the window all day, so and all night. So, uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool circuit. It's just an example of how how such a low amount of power power you need just to just to make a circuit work. Really. So I will be making this into an actual um, circuit board PCB type circuit at some stage, just not anytime too soon. <laughs> 
Plus I've probably got a little um, modifications and things to add on to it anyway. So when I get a bit of time, I'll probably get, do some work on this. But yeah, just uh, thought I'd show you guys that and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. That's microcurrent, John, not you current, just so you know. <laughs> That's a personal joke there, guys. Okay, hope you enjoyed, guys. Thanks very much. Take it easy.